Hello. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the new features we have in the latest release of the SQL Explorer. SQL Explorer is a tool that we released last year that allows you to build SQL queries inside a FileMaker using a FileMaker type interface where you're choosing tables, fields, search criteria, sort order, and once you've done that, you can review your query here, see your results, and once you get it the way you like it, you can copy it as a calculation and then paste it right into your FileMaker files calculation engine and have it work. So uh, we've gotten a lot of good feedback on this tool and uh, uh, we really like using it ourselves. So we have made a couple of uh, new features that we wanted to get out there because uh, we found them pretty useful. Uh, the first is a pretty simple thing, um, but it just allows you to filter the list of fields that you get um, in the fields, the search, and the sort area. Um, the sample data makes it look pretty easy to find fields, but for actual real production tables that have many columns and fields in them, uh, it could be somewhat burdensome to find. Um, and we also hadn't taken control of the sort order here. So sometimes you get it in creation order, sometimes you get it in alphabetical order. Now it's always alphabetical and you have the ability whoops, to filter uh, for the fields that you're looking for so you can quickly add them uh, to your query um, and see them show up here as well. So uh, that's a nice thing. Um, another thing we've tried to do is, is make it a little easier to kind of uh, roll your own um, queries up here. Um, if you want to go ahead and type in here, We're going to do our best to, to support those and, and make sure they're, they're correct. Um, we've also tried to be a little bit smarter about these parameters because if you want to add additional ones here um, without having to go back to the wizard like we do all the time, um, we now kind of have it counting uh, question marks in here and it'll dynamically generate as many rows as you need so you can put in test values. It's only going to be smart enough to show you know which field name an operator um, were associated with the original wizard setup. Um, but at this point, we're not even using uh, this operator anymore. We're, we're typing our own. And if we test this, uh, we get it to work. And then we can also, you know, always restore our, oh, first we've made it easier to actually save these custom ones. So we can save this uh, query and have it persist if you just want to do custom ones. And then you always have the option to restore it back to what you built in the wizard with the restore query button. So the last thing I want to show you is the thing that we're the most excited about. Um, although we really like this feature here and think it has a lot of uh, great educational value, there's some stuff we are not wild about in it. Um, first is that we have hard-coded field names and table names in our query. And if those change, this query is going to break. Um, it's not part of the FileMaker kind of dependency tree, the way things work there. So that's one problem. And it's also, you know, a little heavy on the, the commenting. Um, it's nice to know where all this stuff is. But I think, you know, the idea here was more kind of educational as we were all learning the tool. Um, so we wanted to include something that would be a little easier to use in ac actual production. So we've included this new version, copy as abstracted calculation. And what this looks like. is it's still ready to go into your calculation engine and it still works great. Um, but we've basically divided it up into chunks where any field name or table name that are going to get referenced in the query get assigned to variables. And we also use the get field name on the actual FileMaker schema so that basically we're making this calculation part of the dependency tree. And if this field name changes in your field, this calculation won't break, and I'll show you that. So you can see how we have it commented out. We're still using the test values you had uh, for placeholders, so you want to put your own ones in. And here's the actual query itself, and we still think we've made it very easy to read. 
it's just basically referencing all these variables rather than any table names or field names themselves. So to see the benefit of that in action, if we go to the source file here and set up a simple new script, I'm just going to call it dialog and show to custom dialog and we'll just paste that calc right in here. So if we run that script, we see we get our SQL answer, so it copies and pastes between files. And even better than that, if we go in here and change this field name, which FileMaker people do, and we run our script again, we see that it survives. And the reason that that is is because since we're using that get field name, we see that it actually updated just like a regular FileMaker calculation would, so that this calculation will survive field renaming, which should make you feel good about putting it into production. And just one final kind of little demo here. We've tried to make sure that if you do, as we do when theory, using the that wizard, will abstract theory. it just as well. So if you do kind of want to quickly roll your own here and not use the wizard at all and do something like, you know, select name or something like this, select count name, uh, name from companies, and then group by name, uh, something kind of quick and dirty like that um, does work. We get our results down here, and if we copy it using the new abstracted feature, it looks like this. So we are able to assign the, the fields and the uh, tables that you use to variables and use those in your query. Make sure that they'll survive renaming. Um, we've also made sure that you know the rest of the SQL will be honored, and uh, we've tried to um, you know, uh, make uppercase any uh, reserve SQL words to kind of clean up the statement for when you actually paste it in there. So we think these features are going to help you uh, put SQL into production. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoy the newest version of SQL Explorer. Oh, let's do one final thing. It works.